Hey, what's going on guys? Shadow Hollow here signing and bringing you another Destiny 2 video. So I've been playing Trials of the Nine and have gotten my hands on some of the loot. So I just wanted to give you guys an inside look at some of the loot that I've gotten. Everything about Trials of the Nine just looks nice and clean. Like the stages look clean and nice and creative. The social space looks very clean and crazy looking. And the gear just looks nice and clean. They sound nice too. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the gear that I got. So after playing for some time I was able to get three of the weapons and the gauntlets and I'm gonna be playing later so I'll probably get some more but I got the hand cannon which is named judgment the sidearm which is named a swift verdict and the shotgun named a sudden death and the gauntlets which are named flowing grips so let's check out this hand cannon this thing definitely looks nice it feels exotic and this is how it sounds Like this, this is just gonna be my favorite hand cannon. So it has an intrinsic perk, uh, adaptive frame, well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy, steady hand HCS, increased stability, increased handling speed, true sight HCS, slightly increased range, slightly increased stability, slightly increased handling speed. Hit mark HCS, slightly increases range. And this is the one that I'm going to. Now, each one of these guns have this unique trait perk. And what it is, is whenever you slide, you get a partial refund on your magazine. And then it temporarily boosts your stability and it boosts your range. So you can either pick this or it also comes with like an alternate perk on each of the weapons. And each one is different. So for this one, it's opening shot, improve accuracy and range on the opening shot of the attack, which is really nice on a hand cannon. And then moving target, increase movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down the sights, which is really nice because a lot of people move around and try to dodge side to side whenever they're trying to shoot their opponent or get in a 1v1 fight. So next, let's move to the sidearm. This thing definitely looks and feels just as exotic as the hand cannon and it definitely sounds nice too. It has the intrinsic perk precision frame. This weapon recoil pattern is more predictable pretty much by shooting straight up and down. Tactic SAS slightly increases range. Target SAS increases range, slightly decreases stability, and slightly decreases handling speed. Short spec SAS slightly increases stability, slightly increases handling speed, and slightly increases range. And then it has the trait perk, which where you slide and you get a reload on your magazine, and then a boost to your range and stability. And then threat detector increases reload stability and handling when enemies are in close proximity. And then next we have Zen moment causes damage with this weapon increases its stability. And just in case you're wondering, you definitely can put mods on these weapons, but I'm I personally do not want to put any mod or not mods. I'm sorry, uh, shaders on these weapons. You can put shaders on these weapons, and me personally, I'm not going to put any shaders on these weapons. So next we have the shotgun, and this thing is going to be my favorite shotgun of all time, hands down. Um, it definitely feels nice. It handles nice. I I've already used it in Trials of the Nine, and it's definitely reliable. And I would highly suggest it. So the intrinsic perk is aggressive high recoil and high damage first we have chambered compensator increases stability moderately controls recoil and then slightly decreases handling speed next we have barrel shroud increases stability and increases handling speed next we have hammer forge rifling increases range and this is pretty much the perk that you want to go to when you are looking at shotguns it has slide shot where you get a refill in your magazine and then a boost to range and stability when you're sliding Next we have slap shot sight, faster time to aim down the sight so if you don't want the uh, trait perk you can go with that one. Next we have threat detector, just like the sidearm increases reload, stability and handling when enemies are in close proximity. So next uh, I have the flowing grips, the hunter gauntlets for Trials of the Nine and these things definitely look nice, I'm definitely going to be rocking these uh, from now on. But there you have it, those are the pieces of weapons and armors that I've gotten from Trials of the Nine. As I mentioned before, I'm probably going to play later on today and get some more gear and I will show you uh, the gear that I got in another video. But that's all for me guys, thank you all for watching, thank you everybody that's been supporting the channel, dropping the likes, dropping the comments. and. To all the new subscribers, thank you all for the support. It's definitely appreciated, much appreciated. Uh, if you like this video, then definitely drop a like. Comment down below if you have any questions. But that's all for me. Be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the videos that I'm going to release in the future. 
But I'm Shadow Hollow, signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video.